I connect correct people when Naomi weeps uh, inconsolable tears as Kabi Esi gave her two days to bring Prince Tadenekawo to the palace to come and see him. Yes, we heard that yesterday Prince Tadenekawo kept on crying and crying that he wants to see his father, he wants to go and play with his father. But due to the misunderstanding that we all know that is going on between Kabi Esi and Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi did not take uh, Prince Tadenekawo to the palace. Yes, she stopped Prince Tadenekawo from going to the palace and she said that she would not allow Prince Tadenekawo to go with the drivers only. So when Kabi Esi got the info that she waiting the software Kirill, Maybe the security called KBSC to inform KBSC that uh, uh, his son has been crying to come and see him and Queen Naomi has been preventing uh, Prince Tadenekawo from coming to the palace. We heard that KBSC over a day ye, some palace very late yesterday to come and see Prince Tede. And Prince Tede was so happy. Una, una no one thing with men, even though you have a small baby that is a boy, he will always look up to his father. He will like to be behaving like his father. He will like to be g getting close uh, to his father. That is, that is the same thing with uh, younger uh, girls. Yes, but those will get small female children for house. Now, so you're going to follow him mama up and down. But that is what is happening right now. Prince Tadenekawo is now seeing his father as a role model. Yes. So he always acts of his father, but... Due to the misunderstanding that is going on between Kabiese and Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi restricted uh, Prince Tadenekawo from going to the palace yesterday. Until evening, where Kabiese gets the news, Kabiese left everything he was doing in the palace and stormed Akire. And we heard that as Kabiese came to Akire to see Prince Tede, Queen Naomi did not come out. Yes. They get to inform her that uh, Kabiesi is here. He wants to see his son. And we heard that uh, he clothed Prince Tadenekawo, asked them to take uh, Prince Tadenekawo to his father. And Prince Tadenekawo was happy. Yes, he was happy and he kept on asking questions to his father. When are we going to return? When? Why are we still outside? I thought that we have returned Some back permanently, that I want to stay with you in the palace. So I know how children can they talk. So we heard that Kabi Esi told him that everything is in your mother's hand. There is nothing I can decide now. It is your mother that have the final say. Yes. If Queen Naomi wants to return back today, the palace is hers. Yes, everything is in her hands. She is the one to make that decision. And Prince Tadinikawa doesn't understand what his father was saying. But the one where Pepe uh, Kabi yesterday was when he was leaving. We heard that Prince Tadinikawa was crying that his father should stay over. That he wants both of them to be living together. And he now touched Kabi so dearly. Yes. It really hurts Kabiesi because one thing with Kabiesi is that the kind of love Kabiesi have where Prince Tedenekawo is, is not the same with the ones he has where Adesewa and Ademakewa is. He truly loved Prince Tedenekawo so dearly because Prince Tedenekawo was his first son and not only that, Prince Tedenekawo came when all hope was lost. Yes. The gods decided to bless Kabiesi for a very long time after Kabiesi has given birth to about three to four girls. That was when Prince Tedenekawo came. And Kabiesi valued the very Prince Tedenekawo so dearly. And at the same time, he loved Queen Naomi so much. So he now transferred the love he had where Queen Naomi is to Prince Tedenekawo. That is why Prince Tedenekawo holds a very special place where Kabiesi is in his heart. Yes, and that is why the Oloris are competing. Because they have already seen that everything where Kabiesi they do is in Prince Tade's name. Up till now, we heard that properties where Kabiesi they buy in the put for Prince Tadenekawo's name. 
So you see that uh, Prince Tedinikau has gotten something from his father. So my correct people, back to the matter. So after Kabi Esi left yesterday, we heard that Prince Tedinika was tears. Lily touched him. He said, no, I can't keep on like this. I can't keep on respecting Queen Naomi and Queen Naomi will be disrespecting me. I have tried to talk to her. I have met with Deji of Akire. I have met with Ileife elders. I have met with Akire elders. I have met with Oba Elegushidem. Tra begging them to talk sense into Queen Naomi, but Queen Naomi doesn't want to listen. Kabi is in anger to send a message as we heard. Giving Queen Naomi two days. Because we heard that at uh, school, some school has to resume, but Prince Dedinikawa school is going to resume on Monday. And at the same time, we're hearing that when Naomi wants to change Prince today's school without informing KBAC, which is totally wrong. Forget say, ah, we know say Queen Naomi is being hurt. But it is totally wrong for you to change that child's school without informing his father. Because we heard that KBAC has been a good father to Prince Tedinikau. Yes, forget that you're having issues. A child is involved and that child should not be affected. Sometimes KBSC crosses boundaries. Yes, what KBSC is doing is totally wrong. But that child should not be used as a weapon to fight KBSC. So my correct people, as we heard, KBSC gave uh, with Naomi two days to bring Prince Tedinikawa into the palace for him to have time and talk with Prince Tedinikawa and pray for him before school will start and also play with him. He is the father. Sometimes it is right for a father to speak words into uh, his son's life. So Kabiese understands the game and he wants to pray for Prince Tedinikawa before he will start school and we heard that he has given with Naomi two days let it not exceed two days, whether Queen Naomi likes it or not. Prince Tedineka will not be brought into the palace. Even if she doesn't want to go, Kabiesi's convoy can come over and bring Prince Tedineka in the evening. They will bring her, him back. Kabiesi is not dragging Prince Tedineka with Queen Naomi. Yes. Kabiesi understands that Queen Naomi is supposed to stay with Prince Tedineka because she is a biological mother. But the only thing Kabiesi is demanding is to have a good time with uh, his daughter and Queen Naomi shouldn't stop that. So my correct people, we don't know when this fight between Kabiesi and Queen Naomi is going to stop because Queen Naomi felt that Kabiesi is using her. That is what she felt. That Kabiesi did not truly really love her. Kabiesi has been using her for protection. That is what she felt. And that is why she has been displaying all this negative character, but we pray that uh, they will get to understand themselves and reunite together because for every family sometimes, then they get issue. My correct people are waiting this up as we had alleged. I will make an achievement for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected. For more updates, we'll be dropping from time to time about waiting the soap for inside the palace of Oni of Ife allegedly. And for my returning subscribers, I can...